William. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I had a weird dream last night, right? Okay, okay and, and it didn't okay, involve pedophiles, so it's so it's cool. Okay, 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 okay cool. Th- thanks, thanks for bringing that okay. out. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's how we, thanks for bringing okay, that okay, back. Okay, I'm gonna pitch you a new movie plot. All right, I had a movie plot idea. Okay, this okay. this movie will sell like hotcakes. All right, I'm gonna give you the like title. Guntica? I'm gonna give you is... this movie is better than Guttica. All right, I'm gonna oh, sell shit. you based oh, on the title itself. All right, this is the title mm-hmm. for my new movie: Thirty Minutes or Less in the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? That's the title of my. That's the title of my next of the stupid movie I I had last night. It's called Three Minutes or Less in the Wild West. All right. Oh, all right. Just sure. based on the title alone, try to guess the movie plot. Uh, we it's a thirty minute movie of you, of us being in the Wild West. The die the hero dies in thirty minutes, and then the and then it's like it's just it's just it's just it's just the screen just being like. Fucking uh, an empty desert. No, no, that's stupid. No, no, no. Tumbleweeds. No, the movie is based on a pizza delivery boy in the Wild West. Damn it! I was hoping, I was hoping for mine. <laughs> look, 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 this is William. So lately, I just been having these weird dreams where we take an existing concept and we put an out of place element in it, but the out of place element is considered normal within the within the setting. So it's so like how oh with Gunsica, how we just had a guy with a gun in a mythical fantasy world, right? Uh-huh. In, in thirty minutes or less in the Wild West, it's a it's a Wild West town, right? With cowboys and everything, with, with ye old cowboys and, and the and the saloon and all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. But there's just a piece, but there's just a pizza delivery pl- pizza place on, on the block. There's just a pizza delivery. Like, okay. So 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 you know how cowboy dress, right? Yeah. Right. There's just a dude in a pizza delivery outfit. You, so you know Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that outfit, except he has like pizza cap on. That's it. That's how he looks, and he goes around delivering pizza in the Wild West. Really? <laughs> it's really funny. This is, it's really wait, wait, is it okay? Hold on. So because the image I'm seeing is like, is it just like, like it's a it's a standard old Wild West village town, yeah, right, or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, right? But in the middle of that, somewhere well, not it's in just the middle, a modern but, 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 but within, okay. but within, uh, okay. within not, the not, building, not, 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 no, no, but among, but among the buildings, yeah. it's just like. It's just a modern day dominant. Yeah, well, not no, well, 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 we can't. Well, we, we, we're not. We're not. We, we don't. We don't get. We, we haven't sold the movie to Domino's to 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 um to fuck to okay, product shit. placement the okay, movie yet. Okay, sure, but like, okay, but that's an example, yeah. okay? But it's a uh, just for the example wise, but it's a modern day Domino's building yeah. that's full of electricity and refrigeration. Yeah, and and, and all that stuff, mm-hmm. and it's just. Everyone, everyone else is just like fucking plebs, and then no, no, they no, take no, this no, as no, natural. No, no. Here's the thing. Everyone in the, in the in in the pizza place dressed like cowboys, except for the delivery guy who dressed like a modern day pizza the delivery boy. No, who dressed like Marty McFly, but except he has a pizza cap what? with the pizza logo on it. What? Like every like, so, like so everything within the building is modern day, right? So so you you got the ye old ye old electric stove, ye old electricity, right? But everyone within uh-huh. the building dressed like cowboys or wherever the fuck people dress in cowboy days. But except the pizza uh-huh. delivery boy who dressed like a normal dude who goes around delivering pizza on his bicycle. What the f- what? <laughs> What? And then along the way, he gets hijacked into zany cowboy cowboy situation. Plot oh point. my like, god! Like, uh, like like he has to team up with, with the like he has to team up with with with, with the with, with, with his with his Native American sidekick to to stop to stop the train robbery or some shit. Oh my. Okay. Oh Jesus. Okay. So we're going even viral. Okay. Yeah, that is the we're going, that we're is going the plot. That, that is the too. plot of thirty minutes or less in the Wild West. All right. Jeez. They're just delivering pizzas. He's just like... a, he, no, he's just a regular pizza guy, but he gets he gets hooked and he gets he gets thrown into this fucking cowboy plot. That's it. So so there's a real plot going on. We're like we're like we're like so take any stupid cowboy plot, right? But just put a a pizza mm-hmm. delivery boy in in the background. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Jesus. So dude. so so there's no <laughs> real plot involving the pizza delivery. He's just witnessing the real plot. He just happened to be delivering pizza he's... to the plot. Okay, so literally, like, there's an actual plot going yeah, on. Yeah, with, 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 with a real, with a, with, a, with, a real, with a real cowboy, right? With a real cowboy doing cowboy action, right? Uh-huh. But people keep ordering pizza to the plot, and he has to deliver pizza to the plot, and he does the question. He's like, "I'm just trying to do my job, you know." Uh, okay, shit. All right. Yeah. So he's just what? The, he's just he's just doesn't do it. He just delivers the pizza. Yeah, and he just as the plot's the going plot. on. 
I'm pretty sure he has his own plot stuff going on, like high school prom or some shit. But, I don't, but no one gives a fuck about that. High, high school in the fucking wild yeah. west. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my and god. And he doesn't All question. Right. No, and he doesn't question his setting or his appearance. He's just like, I'm just a piece of delivery guy, you know. He just doesn't get paid yeah. enough to deal with this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So he, he doesn't get paid doesn't. enough. He's like, look, people have guns. I'm the only guy with a fucking bike in this town. Half of the town doesn't know what a bike is, so... Because I'm pretty sure they did have bikes in the Wild West. I feel like they might have. Okay. But it's just like, no, nobody uses them because we had horses. Yeah, that's why, yeah. So that's the plot. It's a hilarious hijink. It's a comedy in the Wild West. Jesus, dude. Yeah, all right. So all, right. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> all right, that was, that was a good five minute wasted about, about my movie plot. Right, well, so I wonder what stupid dream. I wonder for, what uh, stupid dream I'm gonna have in, in tomorrow for us to discuss so, about. <laughs> Welcome to the spoiler cast of, uh, of Scoop. That's right. The Scooby Doo instead of the movie. movie, yeah. Where instead of instead of the movie, we talk about fucking uh, ideas that we have for movies. Yeah. <laughs> so, wait, 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 let's, let's do it how we like always that. do by reading the Wikipedia page entry plot synopsis for Scoob. Oh my god. <laughs> let's read this. Let's read this this plot synopsis. Since childhood, oh, yeah, Shaggy be... Rogers, Fred Jones, Romo Dinkley, and Daphne Blake has been solving mystery across the globe accomp- accompanied by Shaggy's pet dog, Scooby-Doo. But their greatest mystery together comes in a turn of events when they run into the Blue Falcon, who is trying to prevent his arch-rival, arch-rival Dick Dastry from causing a global apocalypse by unleashing the great Cerberus on the world. And that's the Wikipedia entry for Scoob. This movie is so recent, yeah, mm-hmm. they don't have a Wikipedia entry yet for this movie. <laughs> so we literally have to actually recall the movie plot as we as we go along with this movie. It's fucking nice, William. dude. So I don't know how I feel about this movie. It's, um, it's kind of crap. I, 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 I feel really mixed about this movie. I like Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is one of my favorite childhood cartoons, right? Uh, I like that. Yeah, I, I, like, as... I, I like the Scooby-Doo. But here's the thing. I hate nostalgia. Being a millennial, I hate nostalgia, all right? That's what millennials nah. hate. Nostalgia, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Millennials hate nostalgia. Yeah, millennials hate nostalgia. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No one else, just millennials. Yeah, just millennials. Just only millennials hate nostalgia. <laughs> because the only thing God, nostalgic for, for, for older people is the plague and World War and World War One. Jesus. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> okay, so where okay, so let's see. How do we go about yeah. this? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. This is, you want to go with stuff we hate in this movie? Um. To be fair, there's very little I like okay. in this movie. So, okay. yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, uh, well, first, first. Mm-hmm. No, you can, you can go ahead. Okay. I, I, uh, I hate uh, Velma's uh, voice actress. <laughs> Last year, I, I, bet, right. I bet they against the voice actress herself. I don't like the voice they chose for Velma. It didn't fit for some reason. Okay. To be fair, though, and I'm just saying this here right now from the get go of the main cast. For basically everyone, except for you know Sco- uh, Scooby, right? Uh-huh. Um, they got new voice actors. I know that they didn't get the the because act- yeah. because I because I'm pretty sure the original Scooby Doo are still doing it in like the Scooby Doo media that exists. I'm well, because the thing is of of the main cast, like basically, and I'm only saying for Shaggy, Fred, uh, Velma, and Daphne. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't like any of their voices, mm-hmm. but if only because it's like. Hold on, wait, hey, I like the guy that voiced he... Simon Cow though. He did a good job. <laughs> Simon Cow. <Cowell. laughs> okay. But it's like, here's my thing though, because um a lot of those voices, like the thing is, you if you if you have watched any any media for like fucking Scooby Doo, you know how their voices are, mm-hmm. right? And so when you're watching this movie for Scoob, none of them fit. None of them work, mm-hmm. you know? No, they're just they're just it's just off. Yeah. Throughout the whole movie. Now, if you get like kids who want, who's never seen Scooby Doo and this is their first entry into the Scooby into the Scooby Doo franchise, mm-hmm. then you're like, oh yeah, you know, it's it's whatever, it's yeah. fine. It does its job. I mean, I mean, which I mean is Will Forte. I don't know. I, I like Will Forte. He 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 did a good job. Ah, good job at Shaggy. Uh, you, mm, eh, eh. I, eh, I like Will Forte. Yeah. I mean, eh. Okay, well, okay. Sure. Well, okay, but... well, you just hate Will Forte, apparently. No, because the thing, no, because the thing, the thing no, is, while well, he like, did, oh, the he... movie, the only voice actress I didn't connect with was was Velma's voice actress for some reason. Like everyone else, in oh. my opinion, did a, did a fine job of voicing the character. Okay, well, I mean, you see, like the thing is, the thing is, if anything, um, there, there, there have only been two, like two, there, uh, two my my remembrance currently 
to, to the people who have voiced um, Shaggy would be very prominently at, at uh, is Matthew uh, Lillard, uh, who if uh, if no one else is really aware, he was in like the only other medium like media uh, or franchise I've seen him in, and this is when he live uh, he did a live action bit with it. I know I'm not aware of anything else, but he did Scream, mm-hmm. so. He uh, he also did live action Shaggy in the in the, in the Scooby Doo yeah, movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sha- that Shaggy has only used two percent of his power, by the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure, but like, the thing is, it's like you for him, like he, like Matthew Litter is is honestly probably like, for me, the guy who who is uh who very much uh is Shaggy. embodies Shaggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, like the thing is, he gets a voice spot on, yeah. like shit. You know. Mm-hmm. It was fucking fantastic. Like, like there are also other character, uh, not characters, other people. Um, I know Billy Billy West did it for uh, Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. Mm-hmm. There was um, there's Scott Menville who did uh, Shaggy and Scooby Doo Get a Clue. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was Scott Inns, and there was also Casey. K- uh, Wait, Casey I'm, I'm really glad you can name all the Shaggy's voice actor off the top of your head like that. You were uh, okay. To be to be fair, I, I like um. I, I, I grew up a lot with like Scooby Doo, if mm-hmm. anything, right? And so, like I, I was I was I didn't watch the, all of the uh, episodes for the original when the, the for the original run, mm-hmm. but I did I, I did I did watch some of the uh, the movies like Scooby Doo on Zombie Island, mm-hmm. you know, other iterations, and there was also um, there's also Scooby Doo. What was it called? Mystery Incorporated, I believe. Yeah, it was I called. haven't seen. It. I heard that one is really good. I should probably watch. Yeah, it. I, yeah. I heard it's really yeah. good. Yeah, I also love the memes that come out of that fucking shit, yeah. especially with Fred loving traps. Oh. It's just fucking glorious. Oh, yeah, I've, re- I've never seen that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I thought that was a fake image, but apparently that's real. <laughs> no, it's, it's like... Uh, 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 no, no, like, uh, like, it was a magazine or some like, shit. Like, he subscribes to, like, Trap Monthly or some shit. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like like it's just a fucking like a bear trap on the on the fucking yeah. front of the fucking uh, of, the, of the magazine and shit. Mm-hmm. It's fucking funny as yeah, shit. Yeah, but due to but, internet <laughs> culture, that word is ruined. Pretty much, but uh, well, we, we say internet culture, but I blame Japan. Okay, I, I blame the internet. <laughs> I blame like, Japan. like everything, like 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 any like any, like any old person, I blame it on the youth media. <laughs> Just like any other old person. Okay, all right, sure. But like the thing is, like any of any any any, any ever, anyone else would have been fine. Or if anything, I would have pref- very much preferred Matthew Lillard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, Will Fort Will, Will Fort does all right. But he, his voice like is a serious disconnect for it. It's like it's trying, but it's not there. Yeah, Matthew yeah, Lillard yeah that was basically... one thing. I like even though I like Will Fort, his the, his the voice rate when he was doing Shaggy kept going in and out. Like there was moments where he was doing the Shaggy voice, and then there was moments where he was just do, doing a voice. Like like it wasn't yeah like, like yeah so go I just want to go over like like so I did I think Will Forte did a good job but it was just like half half but because he did do the Shaggy voice good in some scenes but honestly he was just like yeah I'm speaking I'm speaking yeah because yeah because the thing is it's like he's not I, I'm not entirely certain of this and I haven't looked him up specifically mm-hmm. but I'm not sure if he's if I, it might just be because of what this voice demands but I'm not sure if he's an actual uh trained voice act uh, voice actor. Mm-hmm. Because, um, because there is a difference between an actual trained voice actor and then just, you know, like celebrities Wait, it, who do voice isn't acting Will, in Isn't a movie. Will Forte Lego Batman? Who's Lego Batman? Is he? It, no, 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 no. That would be, um... That's someone else, I believe. Who's, who's Lego Batman? Fuck. Um, I want to... Hmm, hold on. Fuck. If, if that's, a, if that's, like, uh, that's actually something I have to look up. I know the name. It's just, I, it's not off... It's not, not on, 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 uh, the, it's on the tip of my tongue is what I'm saying. Yeah, when I looked up Lego Batman, it went to the Wikipedia page entry for Lego Batman, which doesn't help me. <laughs> okay, but uh, it's, it's Will Arnett. Oh, Will Arnett. Will okay, Arnett. okay, that's where I got the confusion from, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the thing, it's, it's totally different. Yeah. But, um, I don't I don't know what Will, Will Forte has done. I know, like, aside from Scoop. I mean, oh no, okay, so, he, I think he does do, like... I think it's just the fact that it's just probably just the fact that it's, shag- it's Shaggy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and, he and, tries... And Shaggy requires a specific voice to, to be done. Yeah, it's either you get the voice or, or, or you don't, mm-hmm. honestly. Because the thing is, it's just, it's just like... Shag- with, the, with the voice that it was Shaggy, it's just been... It's just so long. It's kind of like the thing with Optimus Prime, mm-hmm. you know? If you don't get... Um, and I don't remember his name. Peter Culling? Uh, Culling, I believe. Uh, what was it? who who was it? Is, is, it, is it Peter Cullen that's Optimus Prime's voice actor? I think it was Peter Cullen. 
voice actor. It could be Peter Cullen. Uh, I mean, yeah, Peter Cullen. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's like you ha- you either get the voice or you don't, mm-hmm. because otherwise it's just not gonna work. Like if Peter, if like the day, the day, the day just Peter Cullen. They got Peter Cullen like, to voice Shaggy. No, no, that's all I mean. But I'm saying like, hey, can we get, uh, can we get the, Peter like, Cullen to voice Shaggy? No, but what I mean is like Warner Bros. Warner Bros. He's just here calling the voice Shaggy in the next movie. Yeah, but it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the day there's the, the day yeah, yeah, um, no, yeah, Peter yeah, Cullen yeah. is like gone. The day that's the day Optimus Prime dies mm-hmm. too. Yeah, yeah, because because you know? Shaggy's is like his or well the Scooby Doo cast characters has been so long to this point in age where where anyone who's watched them knows that there's a voice associated with them. Or a uh, yeah, or the manner mannerism mm. uh, of, of their voice. There, like there's yeah, there's a certain there's it's like it's just a voice that you know. Mm. Like if it was anybody else that was that was like that was attached to the face, like their someone else's voice to that face, it wouldn't work. Mm. It has to be like this certain voice actor. Yeah, and so it's like that's kind of my problem, at least with like a lot of the cast or, or of the main cast, you know, mm-hmm. uh, excluding uh, Scooby Doo, yeah. right? But it's like with it's like. He tries mm-hmm. and it's fine, but it's like it doesn't work and it doesn't. It just like it throws me off every time I hear him talk in the movie, mm-hmm. you know. And so that's like that's one of the things. It's like that's one of the, that's one of the um, many negatives of like the fucking movie, especially cons- uh, uh, ignoring the whole fact, that, like the fact that nobody contact Ma- ta- contacted Matthew Lillard asking him if he could voice. No, Shaq. I'm I'm pretty sure they wanted to do a new voice cast with this movie. That's why, because I was I'm pretty sure they would have gotten the original voice cast. But pre- no, no, that's the thing. The thing is, they didn't contact. They didn't con- uh, uh, if uh, if anything, like, I mean, for uh, for the others. It's like their voices aren't so iconic as as Shaggy's or Scooby Doo is, mm-hmm. because it's it's just like it's it's just like theirs is kind of like, it's very unique, especially compared to the original cast, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's like if with like Fred, Velma, and Daphne. I mean, I know you have a thing with Velma, but it's like yeah. in most cases, people have it's a like, lot of things with Velma. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's like it could like the thing is you can get other people and you can make it work as long as they get the mannerisms down, right? Mm-hmm. And it's just like it's not a matter of how their voice sounds; it's just how they act it out. Mm-hmm. But with but with um with Shaggy, and it's like you need you need to get the right voice as well as you know to act out that voice well, mm-hmm. you know. And there's a difference, and so that's like that's kind of one of the big things with this. Mm-hmm. So it's like with them, it could be like most anybody else, but with like Shaggy and Scooby, it has to be someone specific mm-hmm. that has to get this voice. But that's the thing. It, like Matthew Litter, he he's like for for a good number of years, he's been voicing voicing Shaggy for like in all the other little um, spinoffs yeah. that 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 they've been producing over the years. Yeah. And so it's like my thing is why not just get him? He's he's basically Shaggy at this point, mm-hmm. right? And so, but then instead, but like from to my understanding, from what I what little I've learned of the um of the incident here between with Matthew Litter and the um and the, and the during the making of Scoob, they didn't contact him, oh. at, all. Contact him at all. Oh, did they? Oh, oh, oh just in general. Because that's yeah. one of the things it's I like... hate about uh, fucking uh, uh, animated action movies, or especially, like, these, the Hollywood produce. They always, they, they uh-huh. always, they try to, they don't sell you on the characters, they sell you on the person. Like, that was, like, that's yeah. one of the things I hate about uh, live action, not live action, uh, CG animated, Hollywood animated fix. Like, from, from when you get stuff, like, like made for TV stuff, or whatever the fuck they they always get the original they try to get the original voice or b- voice actors or car- people who mm-hmm. do the voices but for a hollywood live or big budget theatrical release they always try to get sell you on the face like um that was my big problem you know that fucking um movie that came out a few years ago with the sing- with the singing animals the singing animals the the one that's done by um, the company that did that does that does uh despicable me or whatever the fuck Oh, see, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They, they, they try to basically sell on the fact that it's like all these big names, yeah, and yeah, stuff too, yeah, right? yeah. So they're like, oh yeah, hey, we got. I, I don't remember any actors in that name, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty I know sure Scarlett Johansson was I know, in there. I, I, I want to say no, Scarlett Johansson was in. She's in anything. I mean, yeah, there was there was. T- <laughs> she's in anything. Yeah, I mean there there was. Um, she's in there anything that requires an Asian turn. role. Jesus, Je- Jesus. Okay, wow, we're going there. We're going there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, but that, yeah, that, that was that yeah, was a whole mess. Or, and or a the half. fucking um, or the fucking uh, hey, did you ever made an Angry Birds movie? No, yeah, I remember there being an Angry yeah, Birds. Yeah, and like movie, it's yeah. the thing with the Angry Bird movie where they try to sell you on on all the voice actors that were in the movie. <laughs> yeah, 
it's just it's really like if that's what you're trying if that was if that's what you're depending on to sell the movie for at least this it's like that's probably the wrong that's first of all that's very much the wrong way to go about mm-hmm. it because uh, like honestly if we're there's not that that's just telling me that there's nothing else to expect yeah, in this movie. Yeah, but the problem with Scooby Doo, you don't need voice actors to sell you on the movies. You just need you just need hey, you just need Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo has a yeah, sound please. itself to the point where you don't you don't need uh, famous people. Like so, I have nothing against anyone that 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 voiced these characters, right? Right? Like uh-huh. like, like I, I like Will Forte. I don't know who. Hey, Mark Wahlberg's in this movie. I forgot. Right, I have that. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, never mind. I hate Mark Warburg. Mark Warburg's the only person I hate on the cast. <laughs> I forgot he hates Asian people. I forgot. <laughs> now we're bringing that one. Yeah, up, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything it's like I was like oh yeah I hate everyone because they hate my they they just hate this race they hate this <laughs> to be fair more more did like, commit a hate crime so <laughs> to be fair that is very much true and I, I at least to my remembers he hasn't apologized for that yeah. at all yeah so yeah okay but, but okay but okay besides besides for Mark Warburg I like these people if I know who they are but everyone else uh, but everyone else. Uh, Mark Warburg is the only person I hate in this voice cast. God damn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is a, that's a fucking thing. Oh boy, wait, wait, this is yeah, what happens but... when we don't have a plot synopsis to read. We just go on TV. T- <laughs> I mean, to be fair, most of, most of, the, most of these are rants anyway. Yeah. You know, unless they're exceptionally good, like Upgrade, mm-hmm. you know? Like literally, it's like it's like at least for upgrades, it's like it's like it's so good. It's like there's only nitpicks. There's literally only uh-huh. nitpicks. By the way, this will probably get me uploaded try. before upgrade. By the way, just let you know right now, so no one's no more okay. gonna talk about. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> no, but yeah, with um, yeah, that's the problem. It's, it's like you have all these capable voice actors who could just fill in the roles like like very easily for Scooby Doo. Mm-hmm. Like literally. You don't need to sell it on the voice act, mm-hmm. uh, not the voice actors, on, on the on the on the on the big cele- on the big celebrity names, mm-hmm. because literally all you can just do is like this is Scooby Doo, and honestly, everyone in America just knows what fucking Scooby Doo mm-hmm. is, you know, just like with the Flintstones or the Jetsons, mm-hmm. and it's like it's just like everyone knows. Yeah, Hanna Barbera like was a fucking thing. They just dominated yeah, the whole like, fucking animated industry. Yeah, but they like for so long. They, like, Fucking die! <laughs> Shut fuck off! It's literally ruining the flow of things. <laughs> but like, <laughs> anyway, so it's like they, they like literally they 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 were just they dominated the animated industry for so yeah. long. They were basically they were basically the sixties, seventies, like they they were from the the sixties to the nineties. Mm-hmm. They own they owned it. They just yeah. fucking owned it. Nobody could even compete except for maybe um, uh, fucking. I don't remember the guy who made it, but it's like he made Fire and Ice, I believe. It was also he did the animated Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is excuse me. Uh, it was like I think it was Ralph something, Ralph uh, something Insky or something. Yeah, sure. Like well, I mean, it's, it's not like we're both in front of computers right now to to look up this information. Okay, look, man. Sometimes I just don't want to do it. Okay, okay? Wait, I'm too busy playing Fine. Kingdom Hearts right now to look up this information. Okay. Uh, Oh, uh, okay. No, it's it's Ralph Bakshi. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're close. He also did cool. He also did cool. He also did Cool World. Okay. Okay. Just if 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 anyone's uh, cared, does anyone know Cool World here? Here. No. Okay. Does no one know Cool World? Okay. <laughs> no, you're just gonna be like, wait, wait, you're just wait, gonna wait, be wait, like wait, hey. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts right now. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. You know, it's a live. It's a live action movie. Uh, no, no, it's 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 the kind of live action animated movie that was um, with that had Brad Pitt in it. It was kind of like an adult take or, or for like fucking um what do you call it like uh, who framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, this movie! Okay, like the, uh, okay, I remember what movie you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, more cool people world. draw porns of that character. Yeah. No, yeah, and then and then uh, Ralph actually got screwed over because like fucking ex- like you got an uh, I think it was an executive that like ended up rewriting the whole script and just like they they made that with Cool World and then mm-hmm. uh, but actually couldn't do anything about it because he's like. He was like, I think the producer was like, was the uh, the son of the Paramount president, mm-hmm. <laughs> and so he had the screenplay rewritten. Well, I, I don't think it was him, but it was him. But he had it rewritten so that it, it, it was completely different from the original. Mm. And then you know, Bakshi like was like, oh, I'm gonna sue, it, it, or not gonna sue, I'm gonna leave. But Paramount threatened to sue, it, and it was a whole thing. Oh. But anyway, no, I'm okay. not gonna get into it. Right, right, right. We'll save that for the cool I, world spoiler cast discussion. No, yeah, sure, but like, I mean, if we ever do that, but honestly, I wouldn't mind watching Cool World. Mm-hmm. But like, it's like I, I I know way too much about animation okay. history. Okay, <laughs> but all like, right. But um, 
It's it's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're you're you're, okay. you're you're telling us that. Okay, yeah, I know, but it's a uh, man. What was what was the point I was trying to make? <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, it's just like Hollywood. Hollywood has a history of mistreating fucking voice actors. We don't treat them with yeah, respect, yeah, and then just yeah, depend yeah. on fucking big names to sell the fucking movie. Mm-hmm. So first of all, uh, that's warning. For, oh, that's red flag number one. Okay, just to let you guys know that this movie wasn't going to be terribly good. Mm-hmm. Because um, I'm just going to say my sentiments here right now. It wasn't really good at all. Mm-hmm. I was kind of, I, I just, at the end of it, I kind of, I kind of pretty much disliked it, mm-hmm. you know? And, and then um, also on the name of big names, okay? Uh, so you get this, you get this whole scene. Um, well, and I'll, I'll, I'll lead up into this, but like into the big name thing. But you basically get uh, Scooby and Shaggy. Scooby is like, so he's just like a pup who's just, who's surviving by stealing food, right? Yeah. And you get Shaggy, who is um, who who doesn't have a friend in the world, yeah, and then, yeah. so they do this. They, they 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 do they do the cliche joke about like how he's starting to listen to music, and then it's just like about it's just music about being lonely and shit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, one is the loneliest number. Mm-hmm. Oh, lonely, Mister Lonely, that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, old tired joke. All right, mm-hmm. and then he's looking around everywhere as he's listening to this podcast about like, oh, who needs friends? You do. And then it's just like, it's which I kind of find a little funny because it's a little, it's a little modern age thing. It's just like, it's like someone's literally telling me, go get some fucking friends, you little fucking loser, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, tell that to a to a small child. We walk up to a small child and yell at them to go make a friend. Fu- oh, you fucking loser. <laughs> Get off your fucking phone and get make friends outside. God, <laughs> just funny. <laughs> Fuck. But yeah, he's just walking along as he's listening to this podcast, and he's like, he's seeing everyone, every everyone, uh, like everyone also, around. Oh no, yeah, that's also what just, real, quick, real quick. Real quick, I hate the fact this takes place in modern age. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just it's, it's just like it's very throw offy, but it's also like a thing when you kind of expect like modern day reboots of a franchise mm-hmm. for like a for um. Like they they kind of do it with a whole bunch of other movies. I can't name it off the top of my head. If I if I bother remembering, I'll find examples. Mm-hmm. But um, it's like yeah, it was, um, it was really off putting. It was really off putting because because other than yeah, I, I, I kept having to remind myself that this was set in the modern age because they kept making modern age jokes like fucking like like how they had uh, Velma dressed as um uh, as that Supreme Court justice, right? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was like, oh yeah, and, that's right, All right. And they fucking they were just throwing a Tinder joke for no fucking reason. Like, oh fucking wow, no one, no fucking kids are not gonna get that fucking joke. No, you know, that's that's that, no. First of all, we'll get into that, Austin. But that's another problem. But like the thing is, um, so yeah. But Shag, Shaggy's basically seeing that everyone has friends but him, yeah. right? And so he's just having a picnic alone. He's having that, you know, that that cliche conversation with him. He's like, oh yeah, I'm just here alone. I like, you know, I'm used to being alone. I wish yeah, I yeah. Friends, I, I, I am a thing. small child and I went to the beach by myself. Right, and so it's like, um, he he's talking to these like big um, uh, sand mounds in the on the beach and stuff, and so he's like, I like that. But head. then it's like Scooby Doo was there, and then so you know he's like, oh, you want to share some? I, I, I kind of I kind of laughed at, at the sand people drunk, so it was pretty funny. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, what was, like, uh, what, what like, was name Sandy? And what was name uh, fuck? I, I can't remember the other one's name, but they were both sand pun name. I was like, okay, uh, I'll give him credit for that joke. No, yeah, it's just like not all the not, like. Okay, most of their jokes are terrible, mm-hmm. but it's like, uh, but w- again, that's another thing we'll get into. But it's like not all the jokes are bad, mm-hmm. but um, but even th- even now, I can't even remember what they were. That's the thing. But um, mm-hmm. you know, he has this talk, and then you know, Scooby's like they like they they e- they're eating, and then uh, fucking, uh, you know, there's a policeman who was chasing Scooby earlier, saying, "Oh yeah, return. Re- I have to take you to the to the pound or whatever." And then uh, Scooby doesn't want to go. Yeah. And then you know Shaggy's like he has a come like he says oh he's my dog he's like oh yeah what's his name and this was a, this was a little joke that I do remember since now I'm talking about mm-hmm. it but he's like he's like oh uh, he, and he's looking around and he see, looks down at the box and he sees a Scooby snacks yeah. box and then um, instead of saying Scooby though he just says snacks and it was just like which was a little funny it was a little funny yeah no, me, I don't know, you know? that joke got me I actually got that joke because 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 yeah. we, we know the c- cliche of that joke but they but they put a twist on it. Yeah, they just they like you, you expect the joke to be one thing, but then they subvert it by doing the quick other thing. Mm-hmm. 
mm, that's a, that's a proper subversion, if anything, because it's just like it was a quick thing. That's a, it's a throwaway. It's like, oh yeah, his name's Snacks. Like he's like Snacks. I was like, oh no, I meant uh, Scooby. And then you know, gave him middle and then last yeah. name. And then the and then the cop goes off saying, oh yeah, well if he has a middle and last name, you know, uh, a dog stealing food, I can't do anything about it. No, that's no, no, no. no. What was it the last time? Like I I think it was just I think it was just a middle name. If I remember the the police, I was like, oh yeah, he has a middle name. I'm I leave. Can I do anything about it? I was like, I was like that. It's like the problem with that joke, right? That was a good joke. It's, it's just so fucking random and stupid. It's like, like, like if the dog, like if your dog has a middle name, it's just like, yeah, you, oh yeah, okay, yeah, he's fine. But like, imagine if, <laughs> if, if he didn't have a middle name. Oh, like, okay, well he has a first and last name, but he didn't have a middle name. I have to take him in now. Like that joke was so fucking stupid. I was like, fuck, it made no sense. <laughs> with, with, with anything. I was like, why the fuck does the dog need to have a middle name? But I actually laughed more than I needed to with that joke because it was just, it was just so fucking absurd. <laughs> No, yeah, but that's the thing. That's the thing. Not all the jokes in here are bad. Because the, the thing is, with that joke, it at least had like that joke more dependent on the on the setup mm. than uh, than anything else in the film. But and uh, but the thing is, in the rest of the rest of these jokes kind of either depend on like a fucking uh, you know what do you call it a fucking big name coming up or a fucking uh, it's a pop culture reference. Yeah, and uh, that's kind of when you know this movie wasn't going to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. But so that was the thing, and so um. So, but besides that, so so you know, you know they they bond. And it's like, oh yeah, so I got you. Let's go, they go back to um, Shaggy's house, and then you know, it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna be sharing this room with me. Also, got to just call her. Mm-hmm. Uh, so are we friends oh, now? Like, caller, oh yeah, that caller like, bit was a was was a whole fucking misdirection. I really hate the caller in this movie. The caller, yeah. Oh, the caller bit throughout the movie. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Because um, they try to set up this caller to be important, but and and and, and 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 then they went nowhere with it. Yeah, I know it's really bad. But I'm gonna get through get through this little bit of the plot first, and then we'll get discuss. Like, then I'll then I'll discuss what I was saying, and then we'll go through the rest of the plot. Mm-hmm. And so, um, you know, then they go trick or treating. It's the night of Halloween. This is when he made it yeah. for his friend, yeah, right? This is uh, this, this, this when we first get get meet, This is when the gang first meet up. Yeah, and so um, you get these you get these fucking random bullies and shit. Where it's just like they take it, they they steal his candy, but rather than like um, they're skating around, they steal his candy. They pushing down on the ground right and then, it's, then they're saying um rather than just they're not really mocking him for anything they're just just it's like it's very weird because like, it seems like they're well-natured bullies if only because like it's like didn't you know can, like all these candy is just a bit like a big conspiracy or for like uh or, or, big, or big corporate <laughs> yeah, idea for, for, yeah, for, no, for no, big that was a good joke, and then, and then Scooby's like yeah we don't care and then they fucking toss like the fucking candy into the haunted house that they were in and then uh that they were in front of and then they're basically saying, huh. it's like, ha, huh, your blood sugar will thank us for this later. And then this is a high five and just skate away. I'm like, what the fuck is with these yeah. dudes? <laughs> it's just, it's like, it was, I was like, like, that's actually kind of funny. It's like, it's the oddest thing. Yeah, like, fucking, like, like j- j- the jokes that subvert your expectations were, were, were great in this movie. Now, because that's the thing I hate. I, I, I hated all, like, these pop culture reference jokes. Because I, cause as a millennial, I hate, I hate pop culture, right? Millennials mm, really yes, hate exactly. pop culture, right? But like these yes, fucking, every, every millennial hates pop. But these like weird subversion jokes were fucking that came out of nowhere. Really got me. Like like when they were like just when they were talking about Big Sugar. Like how they like how they're talking about this whole conspiracy conspiracy theory with fucking what well, was the conspiracy? But their whole fucking joke about like, like, about big, corporate big corn big corn syrup corporations. Yeah, and stuff I was like, like what that? the fuck? This is so fucking random and stupid. <laughs> it's like no one, no one, no like people don't get this. Like well, I mean people get the joke, but it's like something that like you wouldn't expect in like a kids movie to to fucking. To to, to fucking understand like 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 if i was ted and i watched this movie i would not get that joke whatsoever I'm like well i'm like what the fuck does that mean i, I don't understand <laughs> right but that, yeah, just but that fucking like, joke um, of, of now of watching it, it's like, like oh yeah big course oh yeah i, I know that joke i, I get it it's so fucking stupid yeah and it's it's just it's just like it's the absurdity and it's just like the out of nowhereness of it it's like it's a joke an adult would get mm-hmm. you know it's just like it's just yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, like, like the middle name joke he's like <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but it's like it's like th- these jokes are setups, not because they're like it's like they're funny, but it's not in this typical sense. Like there's a setup and then there's a punchline, but it's more like at the it's absurdity of it. Mm-hmm. It's just like out of nowhere, and it's just like it doesn't fit with these kids, and it's, that's why it's kind of fucking funny in the first place, mm-hmm. you know. And so, um, so like it ca- it continues from there, like uh, you know, Shaggy's like down, and then um. You see, you see, um, the rest of the gang come in, and so you have you have Fred, uh, Daphne, and Velma, and then um, fucking you have uh, Fred who is like, 
Like this is this is where it get this is where it starts getting a bit on the nose and a bit annoying, at least for me mm-hmm. when I noticed it. But it's like you have Fred in like in 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 a, in a costume where he's a knight, mm-hmm. and so there's like a light behind him as he picks up Shaggy mm-hmm. from the ground. So it's like he's a very much a knight in shining armor type of mm-hmm. thing, and it just kind of annoyed the shit out of me when I was like when I saw it. Like I was like, oh god, <laughs> it's very much on the nose. Like a yeah, kid would I- notice it because they're not like. You know they're not they're not there to notice the fucking um, references or anything. Yeah. It's just like but like you're an adult. It's like okay, okay, all right. This is a little, this is a little much. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that joke's pretty innocent. There's nothing wrong with that joke. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. It's not it's not even a joke. It's just more like it's the more the treatment of it because it's like it's there and then it's just like all right. It's just, that's a little on the nose. And I wasn't. It's just, I'm just saying it's like it annoyed me. Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's it's I think it's more like uh it's just it's just so very much on the nose about it it's just like I f- I, f- I wish it was like done a little differently but I guess it's fine mm-hmm. especially if it's a kids movie mm-hmm. but it's whatever but it's like so yeah um they they um they meet up they decide to they hang out for a bit um Fred is like oh yeah we'll go into the house get your candy back uh Shaggy and Scooby don't want to go obviously yeah. because it's a haunted house yeah yeah right? yeah, yeah. Pe- so, people don't like going to a haunted house. <laughs> Yeah, and so they so basically they go and they get the candy, but of course there's a ghost in there that's that's trying to scare them away and stuff, and then um, you know they of course figure out that it was like a, it was like a criminal, you yeah, know? and then and then he was like this is a guy who stole like a, a whole fucking ton of like stuff from TVs Walmart. and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, 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 go go buy stuff from Walmart is what this movie's trying to tell you. Yeah, and then it's just like, oh yeah, you know they cap they captured a perp. This is their first official mystery that they solved in and then they said oh yeah let's form let's form up let's be friends and mm-hmm. you know and then it's years later we have a montage where it kind of it treats it's it's a whole uh, an homage to the original opening yeah for, like, yeah I, I like that i i like that i like that opening sequence where it was literally a recreation of the original of scooby-doo opening sequence from the of the original scooby-doo mm-hmm. cartoon i was like oh uh, i was like oh oh, I was like, oh wait, hold on oh, they're, they're remaking the, the scooby-doo cartoon i was like oh nice no yeah that was really good that was really good i like that yeah right and so then it's like it's after after all after the opening then you see you're uh, you're they're in a diner and then just they're talking to each other where they're like um okay well we, we you know we've had fun doing this but now it's time to become an official business so that we can keep doing this mm-hmm. you know and then you get you get this quick joke about like fucking taxes and stuff yeah. it's like okay yeah <laughs> which was yeah, like, we, it's we, like we, it gave me a chuckle we, 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 never, we gotta pay your taxes william and there's one wait, wait, i only fear three things on earth right i only have three natural fears right Three natural. Yeah, okay. I only fear three things. I, I, I don't care. There are only three things. One of them is the IRS, right? I only uh-huh. I fear the IRS. I fear the government, right? And I fear ghosts. Uh-huh. But everything else, I do not fear. Just those three <laughs> things are my only fears on earth. <laughs> the IRS, the government, and ghosts. Yeah. Okay, wow. That's a fucking yeah. list. Yeah. That's a fucking those list. The only, those are my three natural fears on earth. I mean, one of them is more natural than the other two, which are artificial constructs of society. But you know, whatever. And even then, um, artificial constructs not exactly where to say it. But hey, yeah. whatever. Fucking, fucking. Why? I mean, the IRS isn't. Well, maybe the IRS. Well, who is we not pay your taxes, all right? That's a- okay, look, look, man. I'm just saying. Um, and so, but here's here's my thing. So they get like they get a guy who's gonna sponsor them, mm-hmm. and this is this then this is where I kind of started getting a real a sinking feeling about this movie. Mm-hmm. They get Simon yeah, Cowell. Yeah, fucking it. Simon Cowell was so fucking random. Like I'm, everyone they got it's was just, just Simon Cowell. Yeah. Oh my god. It's just like if you got if you got if not everyone. I, I mean. Probably most editing anyone knows him by reputation alone. Mm-hmm. But this is the guy who is basically, what was it, America's Got Talent? He's like the mean British dude yeah. who basically says, oh, yeah, you're shit. Mm-hmm. You're fucking full of shit. Yeah. And then they kind of, they also make a commentary when when um Simon Cowell is like saying, oh, yeah, you three are great, but these two, they're not even listening to me, right? And then um, he's saying, these two, are the, these, two, these two guys are like the weakest links. And so it's like, you get you get Fred and, and everyone basically, um, it's like even Fred makes a comment. It's like, oh yeah, he's like he he's so mean, but he makes it sound so fun. I'm like, this is the part where I'm like, okay, so you got a judge from America's Got Talent who was famous a few years ago. Sure, I mean he's still famous. He's but, still he, he's still he still holds stuff, I believe. 
No, I think I think he does like uh, something about talent or like a singing contest type of thing. Yeah, where it's just mainly singing, not just random talent everywhere. But um, the fact is, sure, this guy's popular and stuff, but you pre- you really shouldn't like fucking bring in a a, a, a pop culture reference like uh, like like Simon Cowell into it. Mm-hmm. Because first of all, I uh, uh, the direction you're telling me that you're gonna go in is just pop culture references throughout this movie, and it, this proves very much true. And so, um, also, the fact is, like, you're going to base most of your jokes on pop culture references. So, the fact that, they, that you did all this initial setup with all these other jokes, like, I know you did a cliche joke with the whole music and stuff, mm-hmm. but you did a, a thing, you did a thing with the Scooby Snacks, you did a thing with the fucking taxes mm-hmm. and stuff, and it's just like, it's like, those were, those were, those were funny in its, in its absurdity, mm-hmm. you know? And then it's just like, but if this is, what, this is showing me that, like, yeah, this is a cash in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. You know? And so it's just like, they're not going to even try. And so they don't. And it's just frustrating. And then it's just like, oh no. This is, the, this is how this movie's going to be. Mm. And this is also another thing. It's like, you get all these other big names and these references. This is like, oh yeah, these will tide people over in the current day. Mm-hmm. But you, what you want to do with a movie is, like, you want it to last longer than the fucking pop culture yeah. references that yeah, you're making. Yeah, you don't want to make a movie that's a product of its time. Yeah, and unfortunately, the way this movie is going, it's going to be a product of its time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that was my lead-in yeah. with Simon Cowell and the fact that this movie is just going to be a product of its time. Mm-hmm. It's just it's just going to be terrible. Yeah, <laughs> and it was. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like there's still some genu- there's still, there's there's still some nice moments that there was in it, mm-hmm. but this this movie doesn't really have a heart to it. I'll yeah. say it tries, yeah, that was but it's, it's very I didn't like that this movie was big, right? Like. They, uh-huh. they, like this was a big movie. Like when I think Scooby, I think of a, just like a bunch of fucking, bunch, bunch of fucking kids that don't pay their taxes, just going around, dicking around, causing, ca- causing, causing issues for causing issues, right? Right. But the uh-huh. fact that they try yeah. to make this movie like a big global threat with the whole uh, apocalypse and everything, I was like, I mean, this is not really a Scooby Doo movie. Now it's it's dude, this is just a movie with Scooby Doo character throws. Like when I think Scooby, I think like just like some. Fucking they they go fucking solve ghosts in a in a local within a within a what's the word within a set area right like things yeah, that, so that like won't affect from that won't to affect town. me living yeah. living in the bum fuck of nowhere in Kansas or wherever the fuck but I mean, now I was like oh fuck it was damn damn kids that caused the end of the world right God, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and that's why I think with this movie like I I, I feel like Scooby Doo as a story works better when it's just a closed netted closed net uh setting where you don't where they don't go big they just do basic stuff like zombie island like all zombie i was hey it took place on an island i was like all right cool you that's the concept you can get it you're you're, you're fine with that or like uh or like any scooby-doo episode where, where they just fix they, they just solve everything within a city or a town or whatever the fuck right or any of the other scooby-doo uh-huh. movies like when they uh like when when they go meet aliens it's like oh yeah we're just in the desert okay cool we're not gonna do it's not gonna affect anything in the city or bother anything in the city right Mm-hmm. The fact that this movie they make it they made it big with like oh yeah we gotta go to Greece we gotta go to fucking Antarctica we we, we we gotta go to Canada we gotta go to a fucking prehistoric time loop area and then yeah. and, and then we gotta go to hell I was like oh what the fuck why are we gonna go to hell it's fucking took a really fucking mm-hmm. dark turn all of a sudden going hell like yeah that was the problem is how they, this movie was big and I was and it doesn't need to be big Scooby Doo doesn't have to be in like a big setting right. Like, you could, uh-huh. probably could have done this all within a local setting, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. That's the thing, because, uh, that's also another one in very, very much the big negatives, because it's like, because they want to do a whole bunch of big set pieces, they're not really concentrating on the story so much, mm-hmm. they just kind of want to show, like, bring you from here to there to show off a bit of a spectacle, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so, I mean, which is also a thing, but there are some, like, there are some things that I kind of did appreciate, but uh, we'll get into that as soon as that. I'm just going to bolt those to uh, bulldoze through the, the, through the rest of this plot, mm-hmm, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible because, honestly, it's not really a lot. Mm-hmm. So, basically, at this point, base, um, yeah, Scooby Shaggy you know, goes got, bowling and then, and then, and, and, and then the bowling pins yeah. come alive and, and chases them. And then, well, and, mm-hmm. and then to be fair, there, there, there was a good comedy bit with the bowling pins. Uh, like, when they, when, when they were getting chased with the bowling pins and, and like, uh-huh. like when they, to the, to the bar counter food places and they was like oh man we're being chased by but like, well, what do we do we, we can hide or, or or we can fucking pull the i i don't know this joke gag always works with me when when they're in in media when you're being chased and, uh-huh. and then you just pretend to be pretend to be part of the set right uh-huh. and, 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 and then it, it confused the enemy's like 
oh what oh yeah fuck i guess i have to do this now <laughs> right when, yeah when they just kind of they just go along with yeah. it it's like because you basically have us uh, uh, yeah. shaggy and Scooby yeah, being chased by murder being by murder machines and they're like oh yeah yeah and then, and then they just go behind like a fucking counter instead of just hiding. They just wear like they just wear the uniform of the place and they start pretending that they're like fucking uh fucking servers like they're gonna make them the robots food and all the robots kind of change into these, into these cuter forms of themselves. And then they start ordering for food and then this one guy this one robot is like oh I want this and then Shaggy just kind of like uh like before they're like oh yeah we can give you this we can give you that and then and then he's like oh wait we don't, we ran out of calamari <laughs> it's like and then everyone and all the bots are just like angry at them they transform back into their fucking yeah. attack mode and then they just continue running it's like okay yeah <laughs> it's just like, like, it like that's just oh, a yeah. third stupid joke that works no yeah but that's the thing it's like that's the thing you would see in something like with scooby-doo mm-hmm. and so it's like but they did that because it works so well because it's just like adam no- it's like it's the, it's the absurdity yeah. of it you know and so, um, so basically, you have these two. They run, they run, and then they have, um, they they run, they get out, but there's just there's a wall. They're blocked off. They think they're about to die, but then there's a blue light that comes down, and they get tr- like it's a tractor beam. They get drifted up into like the blue into the into the ship of the Blue Falcon, and so which is um, an old Hanna Barbera cartoon. Apparently, I found out. Like, hey, wait, wait, I mean, I don't. Hey, we're setting up the Hanna yeah. Barbera cartoon universe, by the way, with this movie too. To be to be fair, they do do that. They do do that because they have um, uh, Captain. What was his Captain name? Caveman. C- Captain Caveman. Yeah, Captain Caveman. And, is and also Dick Dastry, who's Hanna also Hanna part of, from a different Hanna Barbera cartoon. Uh huh. Yeah. And so you have you, but that's later. So they're there, and so um, Blue Falcon, Blue Falcon, and his group are. You get this um, thing with Blue Falcon. This is not the original Blue Falcon. This is a new Blue Falcon. He's like his son who took up the mantle and yeah. stuff. And they basically said, okay, they want you to for some reason. We don't know yet. But all we do know is that you're being ch- these robots are being sent by this guy, by this enemy by the enemy Dick Dastardly. Now, if you know your Hanna Barbera stuff, you know Dick Dastardly mm-hmm. and his and his fucking uh, fucking dog. And mm-hmm. I, I I don't remember the name of that dog for the uh, life. Dino Mutt or something like that. Or is it? No, is it, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, fucking what is it? Uh, Mully? <laughs> Muttley? <clears throat> Was it Muttley? Yeah. I think it's Muttley. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah, Muttley. Yeah, but you have Muttley. Mm-hmm. And so, like, you know Hanna-Barbera, you know these two. Like, they even got their own spinoff just because of how dastardly yeah. they are. Uh, no pun intended, but, you know, I, then again, that kind of lends itself, lends it to itself. But, um, so, basically, they're being chased around by these guys, and then, you know, you get the, you get this little funny bit, which I kind of like, but my problem is the pacing of it, but again, we'll get into that later. Mm-hmm. But, um, where, um, there was, there was this woman who was basically, um, at the bowling alley, that was like uh, that Shaggy and Scooby were in, and then um, you get fr- you get Fred, Daphne, and Velma there, and then they kind of learn. Oh, uh, it's like they were here. What happens is, and then uh, she like like it's very weird, but it's like the fucking uh, the fucking uh, I don't know what you would call her. I guess the manager uh, or the employee, know what her employee. official campus. Of, or the employee. The employee of the bowling alley basically just does, puts them through an emotional guilt trip over abandoning their friend. Mm-hmm. Or their friends, I mean. It's like, oh, yeah, man. It's like, they must be devastated over, like, fucking, you know, about how, how their friends fucking dumped them and shit. And it's just, like, it's just fucking funny because, like, fucking Daphne's just, like, kind of, like, starting to overreact. And then Velma's like, okay, just get over this fucking shit. <laughs> and then um, it was like, oh, yeah, so they were here. And then I was like, oh, yeah. These robots were chasing him. She like there was a robot that was left behind. I was crushed under like a fucking dumpster, and then so they basically had this mo- this, this robot here that's right in front of them, and then um, basically the um, Shaggy and Scooby are, ba- are basically there, and then they're like they don't know why like Dick Dastardly wants them, but they do know that Dick Dastardly was basically um fucking uh is basically stealing all the- these skulls, mm-hmm. you know these three skulls of Cerberus, mm-hmm. and they don't know why, and so um. So they're trying to stop him, obviously, and trying to figure out why they would want him or or want, want these two. And then um, there's like they're in this little set piece where like it's a haunt, like it, it's, it's an abandoned amusement park. Mm-hmm. And then um, you know they go in there. It's it's of course a trap piece. The thing is, it's earlier. It's also mentioned like the fact that like Blue Falcon is like, oh yeah, we should go here, but um, uh, blue, like uh, the rest. Of, I don't I don't know the rest of the Blue Falcon. The rest of the Blue Falcon. D D D D Skype. Sky, skies, hmm? skites. Wow, well, I'm, 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 I'm just looking at the Wikipedia page. DD Sky. Oh no, DD. Okay, okay. DD Skies and Dynamite the Dog Wonders with the other two mm-hmm. for uh, in the team of Blue Falcon, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so, um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just uh, clearly established that that, that 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 blue falcon is, is 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 an idiot in this movie. That's pre- that's pretty that's pretty yeah. much who mm-hmm. doesn't listen to reason pretty of much. his team. Yeah, and so um, and also you know Dynamite doesn't think he's going to be a good blue falcon or whatever. Yeah. But anyway, that's his whole subplot. Uh, but like, so they go here when it's in fact a trap by Dick Dastardly, while um, Dick Dastardly had a, his robots capturing the skull from the other actual location. Yeah, that they chose to ignore. And so, whoa, 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 that they, well, they didn't trust him, but, but Blue Falcon chose to ignore. Uh huh. Yeah. And so um, you 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 basically get it so that uh, Dick Dastardly says, "Oh, oh, I'm not here for you, Shiny. I'm here for Scooby, for because Scooby is the key or whatever, mm-hmm. right?" And so. Um, from there, uh, like they escape, they're they're fine. But then they 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 um. But you know, I guess like I guess there's this thing where where Sco- uh, Scooby has a bit of an ego trip over because he's the key and he's important and stuff. Mm-hmm. And I and then there's, there's this whole dumb thing where they're like this is like uh like a whole what what what's the word I'm looking for? Is there's this whole conflict of friendship between these between Shaggy and Scooby, mm-hmm. which is like the most unrealistic thing I've seen mm-hmm. so far. And so they're like they they um. So there's issues, and then you know, fucking uh, like Fred, Fred and the rest of the gang are base, uh, basically find out this robot belonged to Dick Dastardly. They know they they don't, and they find out that Sha- uh, that not Shaggy, that Scooby is like in like a descendant of like Alexander the Great's um, dog, and so they're just like they're just kind of wondering about that, and then um, but they don't know that the robot that they have with them is basically still operating, and so you know. The um the enemy knows what they're doing, mm-hmm. and um from there they're trying to get the other skull I believe yeah. it was. Um, wow, that's this was just playing. Huh. Yeah, um, fucking oh yeah, but um, what was it the how did uh Austin? You're gonna have to remind okay. me. I don't remember how they actually got to the other location. Okay. Oh, to which one? The 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 mystical the mystical island. Yeah, the mystical, the dino, dinosaur location, uh, basic Dino Island. Oh uh, wait, okay, so okay, how fuck did they get there? I think they just fucking found it, right? Did they just like, oh, we we got the fucking heat sign- signature because that was a that was a that was a thing throughout this movie. They they just fucking found it, right? I think. so. I think they just fucking went there. I think they literally just went there. There was no fucking setup. They just like, oh yeah, we're just gonna go to a magic land. Okay, and they're like, oh okay, cool. Let's all go to magic land. I think they literally just went there. I don't. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't remember either. Oh no, no, I think I think I do know actually. I think I remember it, remember it being the fact that, like, uh, Fred and the gang were captured by Dick Dastardly because of the transmitting robot. Oh, that's Nekopara. I don't want to open up Nekopara right now. Oh my god! And then because because and then um, Daphne helps out a robot, and this robot is like you know grateful to Daphne and stuff like that. And then um, basically you get. Um, Fred and the gang sneaking around, and then you have Velma who basically ha- uh, uses the communication devices that's on Dick Dastardly's ship to uh, basically patch into wherever uh, to ha- hack into Dino Mutt. Uh, Din- Din- yeah, Dino Mutt. Oh, oh. Di- Dino Mutt. Dino- yeah, his name is just Dino Mutt. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm rewatching Dino the movie Mutt, right okay. now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, so Velma, so, the, so Fred and Velma get captured. They figure out the plan. They they broadcast the signal to, to, to them to figure out. To, to explain, hey, yo, this, uh, the, the third thing is located here, you guys. So, like, okay, cool, we'll go there. Okay, there you go. That's what happens. Uh huh. Okay, right. yeah. So, then they, so go, they there. go there. And then, uh, I remember Dick Dastardly basically fighting them out. And then this is like, he says, oh, uh, oh, he just gives him the backstory of why he wants the door, of why he, why he wants the doors, the, the doors to the underworld mm-hmm. open, which is what, like, he needs, what he, because he needs the three skulls, and then he also needs to, um, he also needs uh, Scooby, who is the key to opening that door, right? So we find that out. And then he's saying, oh, I want to open this door because, first of all, there's a whole bunch of fucking treasure that Alexander the Great just left in there. Yeah, yeah. And also because the treasure, my, the treasure, also my the dog. treasure of hell. Yeah, and then also my dog, Muttley, is just left in there, so yeah. I have to go get him, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 that, that I purposely, that I purposely, purposely created. Which is also another joke that I like, but uh, it's like it's just it's just brief joke where he's saying, "Oh yeah, I didn't want him to go in there, but he just chose to do it for me." When in the flashback, you see that he actually just put put him into yeah, the portal yeah, yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the visual first. the visual gag conflicts with the it's 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 subverting what what he's saying with his yeah, actual backstory. Fu- yeah, yeah, which was actually kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you get anyway you get the blue falcon. Uh, they get into the island, and then um. 
Shaggy's like, oh, I don't want to go into the island, but you know, me, me and Sco me and Scooby should are gonna stay in here. But Scooby says, oh, we're gonna go into the island, and then you know, there's this the whole fucking thing where they have a disagreement. We're basically saying, oh, you know, we're no longer friends, that kind of thing. If you're not gonna stay with me, and then Shaggy's like, you either choose to stay with me here or you go with them. And it's like, and it's just, it's dumb. Yeah, and you hate it. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 then they meet Tracy Morgan. <laughs> oh yeah, Tracy Morgan, who's like playing fucking Captain Kate. Yeah. Yeah, and then Tracy Morgan shows up. See, like I said, that's one of my yeah. big problems when you have big Hollywood cast. You fucking, you know, you don't, you don't see the character. You just see, you just see the the, the voice actor. Oh, it's just so fucking sir. Like my like Sir Richard the film was just fucking so out of place. But I just fucking heard Tracy Morgan. Oh, what the fuck, Tracy Morgan's in this movie? I was like, oh okay. <laughs> so fucking weird. Yeah, and it's just like, so basically they go find they find the skull, but they have to fight Captain Caveman yeah. in order to get it. And then, um, but during this while, Shaggy's kind of like, you know, depressed over the whole, you know, fight that the, the quote unquote fight that, uh, he and, uh, Scooby, uh, Scooby had, mm -hmm. um, he, he's, 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 you have the mystery machine and then you have Fred come in and this is obviously not Fred. This is like Dick Dastardly mm -hmm. in disguise. Yeah. And so he's basically saying, okay, lead me to, lead me to Scooby. Okay. While he's pretending to be Fred. And then, uh, you know, he get, they go off, they get, they, uh, they find Scooby they get the, uh, but then Dick Dastley reveals that, oh yeah, I was fed all along, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Now, I he, and then he he gets uh, Scooby and the skull, and then they both run off. And then, uh, fucking uh, Dick Dastley kicks uh, off the, Fred and the gang off the ship, and then, you know, they're stranded on the island, because Dick Dastley destroyed the ship that the Blue Falcon, the, the uh, Blue Falcon team was using. Mm -hmm. And then you get this whole, um... You get this whole pep talk that Shaggy ha it gives it, um, after, you know, saying, oh, yeah, it was my fault, but, you know, I'm not going to give up my friend, that kind of thing. And then um, they basically put the, the rockets on the, uh, on the on the mystery machine and they start flying off towards... Um, to Greece. Uh, towards Athens, yeah. which is where they or I think it was Athens, right? Yeah, Greece, Athens, same place. Yeah, sure, sure. Wait, wait, wait. Well, yeah, I, I know my geography, there. all right? If someone to ask to, 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 I would tell them Athens and Greece are the same place. I'll point to the map all right. and say, yeah, these are the same place. Yeah, but anyway, you get this whole thing where they basically go over there and, um, you know, they're flying, but, you know, they get shot down and then um, you get fucking, uh, you know, Dick Dastley opening, opening the fucking door to hell mm. or whatever. Uh, and then um, you know there's a big Cer you know big Cerberus thing, and then the Cerberus is like wreaking havoc on the city. So then everyone else is trying to come up with a plan to fucking uh, stop this. Mm -hmm. But in, in the meantime, I guess Dick Dastardly fucking uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, he finds Mutley, mm -hmm. and then you know that that's its whole thing that's kind of tied up. Mm -hmm. And then um, that's the, so that's the team the is trying to make character. a plan. Yeah, and so the team is trying to make, make a plan and everything, and it's just like, but all the robots decide to help out mm -hmm. because the um, yeah. one robot that Daphne helped, you know, the, that, that robot likes Daphne. Yeah. And so it's like, okay, let's just let's just, I'm just gonna take over, fight you guys. Mm -hmm. and then, okay, you guys listen to me now. I am the captain. Yeah, I, then, I am the you, captain you know, they go now. Go off to fight. Yeah, and then they go off to fight um, the Cer Cerberus. Meanwhile, you had this whole thing with Blue Falcon. Like, this is a whole cell plot that was happening, yeah. too. But Blue Falcon was like, oh, yeah, I'm not a hero. I was like, I don't think I can be. Yeah, I, can, I can't live I, up I to my father's expectation, basically. Yeah. And so, but then, you know, uh, he sees um, Dynamo's like, oh, yeah, but look at uh, Scooby and Shaggy. They're, they're still, they're, they're, um, they're up against Cerberus, you know, even though they are scared. And then, uh, and then, you know, Blue Falcon has that pep talk. And it's like, I was like, oh, so it's fine. So even if I'm scared, it's fine to still be heroic, that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. then, you know, he, he becomes the hero that he needs to be. And then, um, they, def uh, like Daphne has, oh, fuck that uh, not fly. Daphne, but Vel Velma looks, is trying to find a way to cl like lock the door. But she, so she finds this riddle saying, Oh yeah, you need two best friends, but you know there's this whole thing was like, oh yeah, but one has to lock the door, one has to open it, so you know one has to be in the underworld while the other has to be outside of the underworld, you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they ba um, with with the robots and with Blue Falcon and everyone, they basically put servers back into the fucking into the fucking underworld. And then you know you have the, mm -hmm. you have the whole thing where like Shaggy is like, oh you know what, I'm gonna go into the underworld, I'm gonna keep it locked. And then, you know, it's like this whole sad moment type of thing. And it's just like, mm -hmm. blah. And of course, Shaggy comes back. 
Yeah. And then, you know, every, and then, you know, Dick Dastley is arrested. And then, you know, everyone's kind of happy. The day is saved, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, they're back in, like, I think, it, like, they're in, um... Where, where, well, hold where, on, before we get, we, 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 get, we get our stupid, we get our stupid gag joke real quick. As it was like, oh, yeah, we captured Dick Dastley. Like, but they were like, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, are you sure it was Dick Dastley? Or maybe it was uh, mm-hmm. Simon Cowell. This fucking joke. I was like, no, because one, one of the things, one of the things in my the back end of my movie, I was like, fuck, I bet at the end they're gonna reveal it's Simon Cowell, right? And I, yeah, and when they actually uh-huh. reveal, like, I was so fucking, I was like, god damn it, I knew it, I knew it was Simon Cowell all along. But then they fucking throw you, they subvert your expectation again, right? It was like, wait, uh-huh. are you sure it was Simon Cowell, or maybe it was Dick Dastry as Simon Cowell as Dick Dastry? I was like, so, I don't know that fucking <laughs> yeah, joke. That that uh-huh. joke actually got me so hard. I was like, because literally the back end of my mind, I was like, the intro Simon Cowell. I was like, as as I came, I was like, I wonder if it's actually gonna be Simon Cowell that's something of this movie. And then it, and then that they fake you out that but pretend that Simon Cowell. But at the end, I was like, no, that wasn't Simon Cowell. I was like, oh okay, it's just so fucking stupid. I don't yeah, know. That know. joke really fucking <laughs> got me. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like you get you get that joke, and then this is like. Uh, afterwards, they're like in, in Venice or whatever the fuck it is, mm-hmm. and then um, and then basically you get you get this whole you, uh, this happens a lot too, but it's like you get this cliche where like oh yeah, so they they open up a new they open up a, an, an official building for the mystery mystery uh you know mystery yeah. incorporated yeah right, and so um, they're hold on let me get my head straight, they're there they open up the building they had uh, um. They're questioning. Oh, they're questioning Shaggy. Where's the DJ that you hired, or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, right? And then it's like, the DJ is Blue Falcon. You get the, you know, you get that that typical music and shit. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then, uh, basically they're saying, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's you know, everyone's dancing, everyone's happy, mm-hmm. whatever. And then you get like to this point where, uh, they, like they like they get a call on like the laptop saying, oh yeah, there's a mystery here. Okay. Can, I need you guys' help. And so the, everyone plans to go, and then, you know, Shaggy and Scooby kind of reaffirm their friendship, that kind of thing. And mm-hmm. then the movie ends with, the, like, with, like, a whole bunch of, um, you know, like, these these pictures of, like, the things that were that are happening mm-hmm. afterwards. Yeah. You basically, you know, dastardly escapes, you know, they're all solving the mystery. Yeah, hey, um, and you know. then shout-out to other Hanna-Barbera characters. <laughs> yeah, and shout-out to other Hanna-Barbera characters, which was fun in its, on, in its own way. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the credits roll, and that's kind of all you get. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the plot. Yeah, as poorly summed up yeah, as that yeah, was. Yeah, due to fact that we don't have a Wikipedia page, nor like we normally talk about, because no one's made yeah. a Wikipedia page entry for this movie yet. Yeah. So there's a lot of problems with this movie. Mm-hmm. It's just like, well, it's like it's it has it can it can set up a good joke at times, right? Mm-hmm. But the the problem is that a lot of a lot of the jokes they don't really bother to properly set up, and it's just like. A lot of them just kind of they kind of just depend on like pop culture references, yeah. you know. Like there's jokes about like Tinder and then you know, I mean there's the occasional like there are some jokes which are fine, but it's just like Fuck, what I died. they're ruined by the they're, okay. Thank you, thank you, Austin, yeah. for that uh, yeah. contribution. Yeah, but, hey, like, I'm still playing Kingdom Hearts by the way. Uh huh. Like there's this one joke about like um where uh Shag, Shaggy and Blue Falcon are up on on to uh, in a in a what do you call it oh. What do, you, what do you call it? The Ferris wheel, yeah, right? Yeah, the Ferris wheel, yeah. Yeah. So oh, you're talking about the F-bomb wheel. joke? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, the F-bombs. Like, and we had this time to drop some F-bombs, and then he's like trying to like, okay, no, let's just keep it PG. Yeah. It's the kind of thing, it's that kind of joke that you yeah, would that, that, that's, that's, that's a meta-humor kind of joke. That's a meta-humor joke right there. Yeah, it's a meta-humor joke, and he's like, what? No, I meant falcon bombs, right? And then so, you know... They throw the they throw the bomb and it kind of bounces everywhere. Of course, they just start handing it off pieces. It, it, lands, it ends up landing where they were, and so they start. It's like, no, you hold the bomb. No, you hold the bomb. And then you know they drop the bomb off, and it actually hits the villains and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So it's like they can they can have some good jokes on there. The problem is that usually, um, usually they're, they're either superseded by the pop culture jokes or the fact that they're just kind of rather poorly paced. Mm-hmm. Because like, this is this is a thing too. Um, well, it's like. Um, we're gonna rewind back to the beginning of the bowling alley, okay. or like, yeah, the bowling alley. That's what I'll call it. And so, yeah, the yeah, running we're running we're away we're from the robots. I don't, know, I don't know what you're gonna. What else you gonna call a ball? I, I call it the, the ball, the ball and stick, ball and stick area. The ball. Look, and man, I don't know if there's an official name for it. Okay. You don't know. But you like, don't know if the bowling alley is the official name for a bowling alley. No, I thought always. I always think it was something else because it's like it's like and I, I think of an alley differently. That's my thing. That's why. Wait, right? it was it was but, a bowling alley. I don't know what how hard it oh is. Oh my god! 
Austin, anyway. <laughs> look. Anyway, well, hold on. I, I think we need to take a pause and try to dissect on what your definition of a bowling alley is. Oh, uh, no, no. My definition of an alley, okay? okay. There's a different thing. Okay. Okay? All right. Cool. Okay, yeah. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. My thing is, like, um... They're in the bowling alley. They go. They go. They go down the lane where you and you know you would toss the the bowling ball down yeah. towards the pins. Yeah, and in so a bowling they go alley. Behind. Yeah. Yeah. They go. Behind, no. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> so but anyway, they go through it and um they kind of they kind of hit the wall and then they they make this brief comment where it's like oh so is this what this is what behind the bowl, the bowling pins are is like it's like oh yeah and so it's oh yeah it's a bit underwhelming and so they keep on running but it's just kind of like and they go back into the action but the thing is it's like. It's just a quick one-off, which I would have chuckled at if it wasn't, like, but then it's, like, they go straight right back into the action, so it's just, like, it's, like, you could have done without the joke, and it would have worked, it would have been fine, and it's just, like, it wasn't, first of all, it wasn't really needed. It kind of, it disrupts the pacing of, of the whole, you know, them, them being chased by the enemy. I mean, I mean, no, but that's comedy Scooby-Doo, where when do you do that type of humor? No, 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 sure, sure, but the thing is, the thing is, in here, it's, like, it's not. It's not. It's not a lot for me to take in the joke, and it felt like it doesn't. It didn't feel right, if anything, for me. For like, it's just. It's just. It's just. It didn't work so well for me as with any of the other jokes. It just kind of happens, and then we go on. So it's not like it happens. We appreciate the joke, and then we move on. Mm-hmm. It happens, then we move on. Mm-hmm. Is what I'm. Is how I'm, uh, how it felt with me here, mm-hmm. right? And so it's like a lot. A lot. Of, there's jokes that will happen like that. And then I won't be able to kind of laugh at the joke because then we're on to the next thing. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing with the movie. It's like the pacing, for at least for its comedy, is just kind of off. Mm-hmm. You know? And also, uh, as you said before, it's like the whole big location thing. Like, it should have been, like, more focused on, like, a town or something. Yeah. Like, uh, like uh, as as to, as for previous movies, like, with... um. With Zombie Island or maybe like anything else, like it could have been like this, like um, like like what happened, in, I believe in Mystery Incorporated. It's been a bit, but it's like I think it all really happened within the middle of Coolsville, mm-hmm. and so it's like you had this whole mystery that spanned throughout the whole series or or the whole season or two, and then that, that was kind of like it's it, 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 like it works out fine there, but in a movie, it's just like we're moving from location to location to location mm-hmm. rather than happen. And so because of, and the mystery isn't really all that much of a mystery. Yeah. You know, it was it was just it was just like whatever, mm-hmm. and then it's like it's it's like an excuse for us to go around from location to location yeah. to set up these gags and stuff, you know, and even then the gags don't work off most of the time. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of rather bland and whatever, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just it's just rather unnecessary. Like I don't need a saving the world plot for a mystery. Yeah. Okay? It like it it would have been fine. Like if it worked out like in in uh because the thing is. If it, if if it worked out like more if akin to like maybe Ghostbusters, mm-hmm. if you wanted to save the world thing, like it was all in New York, yeah, and so like they were all trying to do whatever they like. Well, if anything in Ghostbusters, it wasn't much of a mystery. It was just you know them you know doing uh, it's just them setting up a ghost business trying to like bust ghosts. Well, it's, it's kind of similar, but they try to bust ghosts and make a profit of mm-hmm. out of it. So I would have probably refer- much rather enjoyed it, a movie where it was just like. Um, Scooby and the gang basically setting up setting up shop in in the city and in that city they had this whole big mystery that they're trying to solve mm-hmm. and you could have had the gags along the way yeah as they're trying to solve this big mystery and then they find out that this big mystery would have affected maybe not the whole world but the whole town as a whole yeah you know mm-hmm. yeah and then them trying to save the town and then it's like that would have worked a lot better ra- rather than this whole globe trotting thing which just felt like it just felt rather yeah it just meh. it just felt out of place for something that that they would do. Yeah, and it's like it still could have worked on in a setting where like you could have still could have still brought back maybe not Captain Caveman but Dick Dastardly would have definitely worked as a villain because like yeah. he's a villain throughout most of Hanna Barbera anyway, mm-hmm. you know, and that would have worked out fine. But it's just like, and also they're trying to it's like they're kind of trying to like do like a whole mystery thing, but but they're also trying to have like an emotional heart thing with the friendship thing. Mm-hmm. But I felt like, if anything, that would have worked better if they were maybe kids. Because, like, honestly, they were friends for so long. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think they would have had a fight and they would have not been friends afterwards. Yeah. It just felt really off yeah, to me. Yeah, it just, it, just, it just felt sudden that, that all of a sudden Scooby and Shaggy are are no longer friends. And, and that Shaggy has to remember, has to remember, oh, wait, hold on. We can't, legally, we cannot be, we cannot be friends. 
<laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, exactly. And it's just it was just a little frustrating because like, first of all, like they don't really put an emphasis. Like they have like maybe, hold on, they have Dick Dastardly and and his whole thing with Muttley. Mm-hmm. They have Fred and the gang. Where um after they're separated from Shaggy and Scooby, trying to like t- uh track them down, and you know they're trying they they kind of rem- like Simon Cowell did this thing, but they kind of like oh yeah, without them we're not really a team, mm-hmm. you know that kind of thing. But it's like that's not really commented on. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like five minutes, and that's it. And then you had this whole thing with Blue Falcon, and then a whole fucking uh, like how he d- doesn't know how to be a hero. Yeah. There's this whole team dynamic where like fucking Dino Dino Mutt and uh, DD Skies are basically they can do the thing do it by themselves, but they need a Blue Falcon. But Blue Falcon is just kind of new, and he doesn't know how to be a hero. Mm-hmm. And that's his whole thing. And then you got Shaggy and Scooby who were friends, and I guess like they kind of throw in the whole thing of like, oh yeah, but now they're no longer friends. Mm-hmm. So they had like at most four different storylines yeah. to kind of contend with. And again, that's a problem. They're trying to do too much in too little time, mm-hmm. and it's just like they could they could have made it work. But if it wasn't maybe in a more centralized location, and if if anything, take out the whole Blue Falcon thing, mm-hmm. yeah, you know. Or and it's like they they uh, even then like even then they could probably could have still worked with Blue Falcon. But uh, if it wasn't a centralized location, if they just decided to kind of focus mostly on like on 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 blue falcon and shaggy which they kind of do mm-hmm. but it was mainly mainly for gags and you don't really focus on the storyline and then maybe take out dick dastardly's storyline if anything yeah i mean and it's just mm, yeah it's 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 like the, the, the focus is divided yeah there's, there's the a lot going on that was my big that there was too much going on in this movie which i which i felt was way more confident than you need for a scooby-doo movie honestly yeah pretty much mm-hmm. and it's just like okay it's, i don't care yeah. it's like they try to they try to make it sad and everything but it's just like mm-hmm. uh it's just a cliche at this point just get over it yeah <laughs> you know and so this, this is like they focus they, they rely more on cliches and it also kind of feels like because of all the references for hannah barbera well i can understand why they want to do it also kind of feels it feels like they're trying to cash in on the nostalgia kind of like how star, like how disney did with star wars mm-hmm. yeah because millennials, kind of millennials thing, love nostalgia yeah, and that's kind of its own problem, too. And so, it's like, there isn't, like, what story there is, it's just kind of bland, and they kind of yeah. just focus on pop culture, cliches, and it's just like, it's just, ugh, whatever. It's just like, it's just like a formula at this point mm-hmm. that they kind of really don't care about. Mm-hmm. They check the box, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. And it's just kind of boring, and it's like, ugh. Mm-hmm, yeah, pretty much. You know? I mean, the animation is fine mm-hmm. they don't do too much of it like there is some there is some uh visual and like uh slapstick comedy there but it's not a lot you know mm-hmm. and it also doesn't work too much you know or it doesn't work too well because they don't really and so i think they kind of knew because they don't use it a lot either mm-hmm. because i don't think they know how to use it but um i mean i guess it's animated fine yeah it's all right mm-hmm. you know again it's just like it's not the Scooby Doo movie, I would have wanted. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's what I, 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 I feel like this 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 is a type of movie that you felt if it was a if this was a franchise, this would be like the third or fourth movie, right? That was that was my problem. It's uh, like that you're you're if you're gonna start a Scooby Doo movie, sir, like you're already starting off by with a say by being too big. So now your next expectation is that oh, I mean, we went over the world. Now we gotta go over the world again if this if this was a franchise, right? Because you're already starting up with big stakes, and now you're and now you're setting yourself up for big stakes. Like like I was just saying, I just what I said I would have preferred if this was a more centralized, localized movie where as you build up, you get bigger. Like this is not something I felt should have been a first movie because this is not what Scooby Doo gang gang does and everything, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it felt like something that it would it would have built up over time. Yeah. You know? To like to this whole like, big globe trotting event. But so now, so now that we see that they're in a globe trotting, now now your expectation that for any future Scooby Doo movie in this in this movie universe is that they that they all have to be globe trotting adventures now. All of a sudden, when when this is yeah. not really what Scooby Doo is, right? Mm-hmm. It's like if it, it would have worked better if for one they focus on them being kids and you know having to go go, go over group dynamics. Oh yeah, when we could always just watch Scooby Doo Kids. You remember that show? Huh? You remember Scooby Doo Kids? Oh no, not not hey, no, 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 not that was, not, that was not, not, wait, no, no, wait, no, 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 no. What was the fucking show? A pup named Scooby Doo. There we go. Yeah, but the best I mean, character an, an in any in any in any movie media, red herring. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That, that, that is the best <laughs> character in any in any media in any media franchise. You cannot have a better character name than than Red Herring. 
I mean, like literally, like literally, Fred is just always going off. It's like it was red herring. It's like turns out it's not red herring. Yeah. It was only red herring. Like maybe the once <laughs> was it? I, I think I, I, I don't. Before. I don't even remember if, if he was ever behind anything. It's just that Fred hates hates ginger. <laughs> <laughs> no, like he, the red hair. Like red, first of all, red hair was a bully in that show. Yeah, and I remember, and I remember, I, I remember at least for oh, one. Okay, case, one episode, red, it ended up being red to be the villain. Okay, yeah, yeah uh huh. And then it's like it was that episode where Fred's like, okay, I'm just gonna go over it. It was like he's like for throughout the whole episode, he's like, okay, it wasn't red hair. Yeah, but by the end of it, it was red yeah. hair. Yeah, and, and you... Fred just feels so justified <laughs> over saying, yes, I was right all along. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of fucking funny to me. Mm, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, that, that was, like, it could have been something like that. Maybe, like, you know, something al- during, along that um fucking thing. Because they had the whole kid origin thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it could have, they could have worked that out as one whole movie. Mm-hmm. Or, if anything, they could have done that or made it more, again, as you said, more uh, centralized on, like, a, on a town. Like, they're trying to set up shop. They're trying to find a like a mystery. Maybe things aren't going. Yeah, like well, yeah, like yeah, like I feel like Dick Dashi would have still worked as well. Like I felt like it was the Blue Falcon that I ended up ruining this movie for me. In fact, that I was like, I was like, so I, was, so I get they're trying to set up Hanna Barbera universe where the fuck like that's fine, you can do whatever. But I feel like that's really big for you to start off with just like this fucking superhero. Guy. Maybe they could have had like like still had um blue falcon but except he's more of a shitty superhero like like batman uh-huh. like 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 in a batman so he's like oh yeah i'm hey yo what's up it's my first day as blue falcon and then the movie is him they're helping blue falcon with his mystery of of dick das uh, dick das ah dick dastry like like it's really like his first day on the job or some shit and he's really alert journey because like because like because like it's established in this movie that blue falcon is 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 the son of of the OG, but he still doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. But the problem is, it doesn't establish how long he's been this Blue Falcon. So I felt like literally they could have it could work it could have worked at any time frame within the new Blue Falcon's um hero journey, right? Because like like, yeah. like like the entire gag of the Blue Falcon is like by the end of this movie he learns to be a hero. I was like okay cool, but how long has he been doing this? He's been doing this for like a week, a few days, or whatever the fuck. Like it didn't like it didn't mm-hmm. it, it didn't. It didn't really matter. They could have done this at any point, at any point with the Blue Falcon story. So like, like it could have worked if this was still within like a city where where like I don't know, like fucking Shaggy Scooby discovers Blue Falcon's first night off of him being a hero, and then by the end he learns <laughs> to be a hero, all that shit, right? Yeah, but it's like again, it's like they you I think they like it's like the whole globe trotting thing and just using the Blue Falcon and the way they did it's just like they didn't really they didn't really use it to its full potential mm-hmm. if anything. So it's just like it's kind of whatever. Yeah. And it's just, ugh. I mean, they did. They try too much. Yeah, so. like for a if kids movie, it's a fine. A kid, a kid's not gonna fucking understand shit. They're not gonna understand Big Sugar or any of that shit. Or any of the fucking, God, uh, the fucking big jokes. The the fucking subversion jokes and everything. But like for like a kids movie, it's it's just a fucking kids movie. They'll watch it. They'll like it. They're like, oh, okay, cool. They're like, all right, cool. Right, mm-hmm. like, for, but for someone who fucking who knew who knows what Scooby Doo is, it this does this doesn't really feel like a Scooby Doo movie for me. It, it, it felt yeah. if it, it, it just it, it felt like it, I mean it, it felt like this would be like a fifth entry or some shit in a Scooby Doo movie franchise. It's just yeah yeah yeah. Uh, I mean I guess if like I don't really have any more to say about mm-hmm. this movie honestly. It's just it's just really disappointing yeah. to see the how like they they're trying to do too much and it's like uh, the story is very it just doesn't doesn't do anything for it for mm-hmm. it. So as in terms of a rating, honestly, I just give it maybe a five yeah i would give it a five the, the, honestly this this was this movie felt yeah. like to me right. yeah it was just it was just a whatever movie all right yeah mm-hmm. all right so i guess that's all we really have to say hey thanks for all who stuck yeah. us for to for us to hear to spend up spend 80 minutes over analyzing a kid's movie <laughs> Well, it wasn't 20 minutes of that just you ranting about, like, your whole fucking new idea, Hey, too. shut the fuck up. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 30 minutes or less in the Wild West is a fucking great movie plot, all right? <laughs> this movie, uh, okay. movie, like, 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 like Guntica, this movie will sell, like, hotcakes, okay? Look, man, just, just, uh, what, what was the name of the studio? Studio Ar- uh, Ar- Arrow Storm Arrow Storm Entertainment? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Just send 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 them something. Okay. See see what happens. <laughs> okay. All right. Do, do, do you think Aerosmith Entertainment has a Wild West town built in in, in Ohio or or fuck was it Ohio or Iowa where they were located? It's oh uh, well, no, it was Utah. Utah. We're, okay. Look, we're, we're, every 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 state that is in Maryland sounds the same to me. All right. 
<laughs> so California sounds the same as Utah. Pretty much. I, they're they're located on the west. Okay. Wait, wait. Utah, <laughs> Utah is located on the west, right? I really don't know where the fuck Utah is located. Right. As far as I'm concerned, no, Utah don't. is between California and Arizona. Okay. It's somewhere. Yeah, okay? somewhere it's like somewhere that. Right. All right. All right. All right. I, I guess that's all we have to say. God. Oh, right. yeah, Thank, thanks much. for listening. Oh, by the way, William. Hey, William. Hey, 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 if you didn't like this movie, wait to, wait to, to hear what we talk about tomorrow. No, no. Don't don't say anything else. Don't say anything <laughs> All right. more. Alright, hey, we call that foreshadowing in the business. No, look, man. I hate your foreshadowing at this point, okay? <laughs> your foreshadowing just makes me expect the worst out of these movies later on. <laughs> especially when they're kind of bad. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. That's all we have to say. Coronavirus is still a thing. Wash your hands. Okay, thanks. Bye.